So welcome back to the latest vlog. We're getting straight into the next detail and it's a 2015 Mercedes CLS. All the wet work has been completed. Paint depths have been done, it's been clayed. It's all ready to start taping up and polishing. But before that, we're gonna get straight into what the paintwork condition looks like. Yeah, we got quite a few swirls and holograms on this one. So let me get the light and we'll have a look at the paint. Once again, the paintwork is looking quite dull. Yeah, we see all these holograms. Mm. <laughs> That's so impressive. Like I, I knew it had holograms in the paintwork, but until you get it all fully de decontaminated, you never realize kind of how bad they are. We do have quite a bit of damage on this. So this is onto the bonnet. Oh, that's quite bad on the front bumper. I see, yeah, more holograms. And this is the door that's been painted. Some deeper sand in straight lines there. Oh, it's like the middle of the light can't even see the you can't even see the actual light itself so we'll do this again afterwards and we'll show the difference the rear lights Woo. yep Tailgate. Jesus. Yeah, and then we're going to be removing these badges over there. So that's a quick walk round of the paintwork. Let's get straight in to doing a test section. So, yeah, we'll come back in a minute. Woo! This is going to look something else when it's done. Come on, let's get polishing. Yes. First update on the Mercedes CLS. I knew this was gonna be good. I didn't realize it was gonna be this good. Let me get my light. So this is, obviously, this is before. And we can do it this side as well, hold on.
So we can go from the door to the wing. Just so you know that I haven't cheated. So the cutting, that was a Meguiar's microfiber cutting pad and Geon Compound Plus. Refinement was Geon Polish. <laughs> I should have got this ready. And the Geon Blue Polishing Pad, which I'm thoroughly enjoying at the moment. I'll put that back there. So, yeah, gonna be a late one tonight. <laughs> Let's get some more cutting done. Roll a bit of music. Let's go. Well, that's my valets finished for the day. So I can now get back on to the Mercedes CLS. <laughs> so refinement, we have the Gion eccentric polishing pad. And that is gonna go with Gion polish. On the test section that I did, this worked brilliantly. So uh, yeah, gonna get everything set up again. Let's get refining. Oh man, this looks so good. Oh, come on.
well, you may have seen earlier in the video that I cut this with the Carbon Collective on the rotary attachment with, oh, come on brain, the Rupes blue wall pad. Now the cutting pads, they've got quite a thick backing plate and like the microfiber and it doesn't really bend into that shape there on this part. So that's why I cut that with the rotary, but with the with the refining, obviously this is a soft pad that contours in there. So yes, there was holograms where I cut that. Oh Jesus. Yeah, so a tiny little blob. Well, that's the end of all the polishing. All completed. Yes. So the paintwork is done, the glass is done. I need to go around all the panel gaps with a toothpick and a skewer and just make sure they're all clean and free of residue. We're then gonna wipe everything down, wheels, glass, paintwork, and then this afternoon is gonna be coating day. Coating afternoon, should I say. So yeah, I'm just about to stop and have some food. We're then gonna wipe everything down, get everything coated. Yeah, it'd be nice to get this one back on the floor today. Right, have some food, wipe the paintwork down, let's get going. Preparation is all done of the paintwork. This has had a triple wipe down, so after I was polishing with it, it was wiped down with IPA and distilled water. Then it's been wiped down with Spice Hacker 7010 and then Geom Prep. It's been over an hour, so we are now ready to put the coatings on. And this one, Geom Infinite Base Light 2, Geom Infinite Top Coat Type 1. As a combo, it's absolutely insane. I've been washing quite a few of these recently that have had this. The water behavior is just ridiculous. And this one is gonna get exactly the same. So the wheels, they've already been coated. Uh, I wanna do the paint coating and then I'll get onto the glass coating. But yeah, I'm just about to put my headphones on and get lost in my favorite part. So yeah, we shall catch back applying some of the coating. But oh, I love this bit. Oh, I love this bit. Come on.
Right, so on to the interior. I don't normally film this part. Uh, it normally happens at the end of the detail and I just try to get everything buttoned up. Uh, but I've got a little bit of time on this one. So I've given it a thorough vacuum already. I mean, inside here, yes, the mat is a little bit grubby, but the actual carpets themselves, there was very little to hoover. So yeah, just had a good hoover through. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go and clean all the leather. We've got some grubby marks along here. It, it's cream, white leather, cream. Yeah, cream. Uh, it's gonna show dirt. So, make sure that don't come undone, where are we? Gion leather cleaner, strong for this one. And I'm just gonna work little sections at a time. Now, if I thought about that logically, I should have started at the top and worked my way down. Stay away from that shadow black trim with the brush. Don't really want to get the machine polisher out again. <coughs> oh, break. Definitely quite strong that stuff. Just went straight down my throat. Got here, I've just got my soft 99 brush and I've cut the bristles down to make it a bit stronger. That, I'm gonna do this bit up here. I mean, the detail factory brushes, brushes are great but this has just got a bit more bite. Again, I'm just trying to stay away from that gloss flat. On some of that, I'm squashing the brush so that it doesn't fan out, which means I can get tighter. I don't have to worry about the windows, because they've still got to be clean. Ah, oh, how much better does that look? Yeah. Steering wheel's not bad at all. I think we just give this a good wipe down with a cloth. There's no stains on it. Sometimes you see build up of who knows what on the steering wheel. But yeah, this one doesn't need it. So yeah, good wipe down. Move on to the back.
Right, so we now have all the leather fully cleaned and awaiting its protection. So we've got Gion leather shield, we've got their microfiber applicator pad and a suede applicator cloth. The pad is gonna do most of the work and then the microfiber suede allows me to get into all the little gaps. So uh, we'll put that one down there for a second. But yeah, again, really nice product to use. Load up the applicator and I'll put that down actually before I drop it. And yeah, we just apply it nice and even. So I try and work in sections. So for this part, I am just gonna work this outer part here. You just want to get it on as even as possible. Like so. Load up a bit more. And then we'll do the middle. Yep, take the suede cloth, load a little bit up on that one. And this is gonna allow me just to get into all the gaps. Just go over everything twice. Like so. And then I will finish up with the microfiber applicator just to even everything out. Like so. And then I'll leave that for a minute or so. And then I've got my Geon Bald Wipe. And this pretty much in, this bonds almost instantly. So uh, literally no pressure. Just gonna wipe off any excess
So we're getting there on the interior. The leather is all protected. Glass has all been cleaned. So now we've got the gloss black and the nav screens and stuff like that. Close them down. So we've got Gion interior detailer. Open that up. Couple of sprays. Just gonna go over all the gloss black. Ooh, so that is that bit done. So we are now on to the mats. We're gonna get those done and then we can start putting all the interior back together. Whew. Getting close to finishing now. Yeah. So we're almost done on the interior. I've just got the mats to go. So uh, you can see it's quite a lot of, uh, we might not be able to see on that, quite a lot of dirt and sand. So we'll give them a quick poop up. I've just got some Koch Chemi MZR. drill brush just to agitate it all. Woo. Right so these are the driver side. These are already dry. We've got Gion fabric coat. Brand new bottle. I see a lot of people when using this, they use so much product. It's that good, you don't need a lot. Well, I hope you can see how much I've used doing a set of four mats. It's like nothing. Brilliant! Yes! The interior is finished. One, two last things to do actually. One is Gion Cure, which I've just sprayed into my cup of tea. I'll go and make myself another one. So yeah, two last things to do. Gion Cure, which is its sacrificial layer while it cures out in the elements for the next two weeks. I've also got to wipe the tires. So that's had Gion tire. Uh, that was put on yesterday. I'm gonna do this first, then wipe the tires, and then we can get into some afters. This, again, it's been another really enjoyable detail. To see the transformation, oh, just, it makes this job so worth it. Unbelievable. And this stage, I know it's coming to an end when I do this. So, but yeah, been very, very enjoyable. with that <laughs> look at that 
I was just looking at the photos of what this looked like before and just comparing the before and after. Again, that's a truly epic transformation from before and after. So this one, this had a minor correction detail, uh, multi-stage machine polish to get the paintwork to 80% defect free where I can. Um, we went past 80%, the paintwork responded so well. I think this was Maguire's microfiber cutting pad, Gion polish pad and Gion polish for the refinement stage. But yeah, just some paints respond really well and some are a bit finicky to work with, but yeah, this was an absolute dream to work. Yeah, so for the protection, we've got Gion Infinite base type two and top coat type one. That's locked in that gloss and it's gonna make it so easy to maintain going forward. Yeah, just, I've tried a lot of coatings. <sighs> to be honest, nothing is compared to this combo. It's fantastic. So that was for the paintwork and the wheels. We've got Gion View, Gion Trim, Gion Preserve, Gion Leather Shield for the leather. Can't get over it. Can't get over it. So let's have a quick look and then we'll get into some afters. Madness. Yeah, as I said, I am so happy with the outcome of this. Come on, let's get straight into some afters. <laughs> so 2015 Mercedes CLS, which has been GNI's. Let's roll some afters. Thank you. 